everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, and if you're new here, I suffer with chronic long-term kidney disease. Um, the main problem coming from that being kidney stones. And today's video is all about my experience with a stent. I remember my first experience with stents vaguely when I was, I think, 14 or 15. Um, I had a kidney stone blocking my ureter and my kidney needed draining and the automatic go-to thing that they do is put a stent in. This first stent was awful. Uh, I could not walk with it, I could not, I'm a dancer, I definitely couldn't dance with it. I was bed bound and I was supposed to be keeping this stent in for a long time. Um, I actually run a YouTube channel back in the day of me talking about my kidney problems. Um, I'll actually see if I can put in some footage because it's just very interesting. I look, I mean, it's not my best look, okay? But <laughs> it's very interesting to look back on, you know, over 10 years ago and just think that I was in a similar situation just this week. Um, they then changed the scent when I was younger to a thinner, uh, more flexible scent is what they said. And it said it wouldn't cause any pain. Uh, let me tell you, I had the exact sort of pain, exact, exact same pain as I did with the biggest dent with the smaller one. Coming round to now, um, I've recently had another massive palaver with my kidneys and I had another stone blocked in my left kidney. Um, so I kind of went into hospital in moderate pain. I mean, I think it would be severe for a lot of people, but I think if you've dealt with kidney stones since you were 13, this wasn't the worst pain that I've had. Sorry, my cat's got quite a loud toy. I might just have to go and take him off. I'll take that off of him for a minute. Oh, Marley, I'm sorry. One sec. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm officially the worst cat mum in the world. He loves that toy. So flashing back to this year, I had a stone stuck in my left hand side, went into hospital, moderate to severe pain, I guess. Um, and I had an eight millimeter stone stuck in my left ureter. So what they needed to do was operate on the stone, remove it, they go up, they use lithotripsy with like a laser, try and blast the stone and depending on how infected or how swollen or how impacted my tube was, they would either have to put a stent or nephrostomy and I discussed with the doctor before, please, the very last resort for me is a stent. I hate them, I can't get on with them. They cause me so much pain, <laughs> so much pain. Um, anyway, he had to do it, he felt like he had to do it, and I'm sure he was doing what was best. Um, but I was not happy about it, just because I knew what was to come, because I've experienced it before. Um, so I was really upset, especially because the normal, they say the normal like time that they leave you with a stent in is six to eight weeks. So I was thinking, oh, I can't even face six to eight weeks with a stent, I can't can't cope so I, I got upset I was talking to the doctor and he fit me in in his clinic in just over two weeks um luckily that was something really nice that he did for me he didn't have to do that and uh stuck to his words so there were no appointment changes or cancellations which there so often are with the NHS and so I had it out yesterday but let me tell you those two weeks very very hard two weeks you can check out my last video uh or the, the video before my last where i'm just like crying because i'm in so much pain um we have a very hard the sort of pain that you get with a stent is constant i would say um and i'm really sorry if you're watching this video and you're about to get a stent not everyone reacts this way with stents i know that there are people that have no problem with stents whatsoever and can live their normal life with them. Leave them in for as long as... I, I was speaking to a woman in the hospital. She'd had a stent in for well over a year. She kept having to have it changed because there were problems in one way or another. But in terms of the pain, she wasn't feeling it that much. She was kind of coping okay. So don't take 
my experience as it, that yours is going to be awful as well but I do think it's important to just um, understand that different bodies react in different ways and my body it just feels like it's constantly trying to expel this stent and it's constantly caught in so much pain for the entire two weeks I was weeing blood the whole time um, every time I'd go to the toilet I have a very very burning like peeing razor blades sort of feeling like so painful so pain painful than any of my really bad infections more painful than going to the toilet with like the worst kidney infection for me um for two weeks straight i was on very strong painkillers so i was having a, a suppository of um to hide diclofenac suppository of diclofenac which you can have once a day and i would say if you're struggling with pain that was the one thing that really helped I was gutted that you could only have it once a day, but it did really help. And then I was having to hydrocodine and then paracetamol and buscopan if I needed it. I'd kind of get by with the two stronger ones, um, but trust me, they have their own side effects. So then I'm constipated and then I've got pains from that and then I'm having other medication to counteract that. Honestly, it's just, for me, it was just a nightmare for two weeks. I couldn't get out. I went away for my birthday, but other than that, I was in the house laying down pretty much the entire time so any fitness that i had prior to this stone is completely gone um and i just i'm so glad <laughs> that it's out i'm so glad i didn't have to have it in for two weeks i i'm really really sorry if you're watching this video and you're in the same situation because i've had so many people and doctors tell me that it, it won't be it won't be painful it shouldn't be painful Keep it in for six to eight weeks. Most people have no problems with the scent. Most people can live their life as normal. Um, but I have heard about other people experiencing severe pain with stents. But I, I've Googled it, I've researched, I've looked up on YouTube and there are not many people talking about it. So I just wanted to do this YouTube video to bring it to light that I bloody hate stents. I really hope I never have to have a stent again. But with my condition, it's like... I mean, the chances are pretty high. Um, I personally would choose to have a nephrostomy over a stent. I also have a video on nephrostomies on my channel um, because I had one in 2020. For me, so much better, so much less painful, um, but they don't do the same job. A nephrostomy does drain your kidney, but it doesn't um, open up the ureter tube and so the ureter isn't resting, it can't recover in the same way, and the scent is there. I haven't even explained what it is, but I'm assuming you know, but if you don't, I'll put a little image up of a scent now. I actually asked to keep it because I had it taken out while I was wide awake, which I'll get onto in a minute. Um, but it's a thin, looks, you know, it's. I mean, they say it's tiny, it doesn't look tiny. It's like this long. Uh, it was a thin tube, like not very wide uh, at all. And it goes up through your ureter into your kidney and it has like a little twirl at the top. And then it goes down through your ureter into your bladder. Now, having something resting in your kidney and bladder constantly is I think what causes the pain for me, especially the pain going to the toilet, the constant pain that I had, just like, just it being kind of hooked in there. It's just, oh, it's just not a nice feeling. And what I really wasn't looking forward to with this whole experience was the fact that I had to have it taken out fully awake. Now I know this is common practice. I've just never had it before. And I was a little bit petrified, not gonna lie. Uh, can't say I love the thought of going, someone going up my pee hole with massive tools and like clipping onto a stent that's attached to my kidney and then yanking it out like does that not make anyone else feel physically sick uh, and I'm not even queasy but that mm, no 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 but I had to do it I went yesterday I requested being sedated but they didn't do it there and if I wanted to be sedated which you can be I would have had to wait longer and obviously my priority was to get the stent 
out of me. So I wasn't sedated. It was, you know, not enjoyable <laughs> in any way. But it was kind of interesting, getting a bit of a different experience with it. I laid down on a table, split my legs. They, like, cleaned me, which just, oh, it's just not a nice feeling. And then they squirt, like, a numbing liquid into your pee hole, your ure urethra and um there's like a screen and they put a camera up there so they, you can then see inside your own bladder which is kind of cool <coughs> bless me kind of cool uh so i was looking at it i could see the stent curling down into my bladder and then like as they grabbed it to pull it out and i definitely looked away and that was painful um but it was fairly quick and i would do it a thousand times over if it meant that you know, I was getting the stent out. Like, I don't want the scent in me <laughs> if I haven't made that clear. I don't like stents. Um, but yeah, that was yesterday. And yeah, it's a different experience being awake for it all. Would I have preferred to be sedated? Yes. So if you can, request that. Um, but overall, not too different to a smear test. Um, but yeah, that... It's kind of my experience this time around with my stent. I'm glad it's out. I can already instantly, even though I was just sore and I've still got kidney pains in my right kidney and in my left kidney, like I've still got pains. They're not as bad as a stone and they're nowhere near as bad as the stent pain. And instantly when it was taken out, I felt like I could stand straight again. For the whole two weeks, I've been hunched over just I feel like if you, when you're in so much pain in your whole abdomen area, you just your posture just completely goes. And I stood up and I felt the restrictions just completely gone from that area. Um, it's crazy. And I do think I can, like I am quite in touch with my body and I can tell when something's not quite right and my body does not like a stent. But some people are absolutely fine. I really hope this doesn't scare anyone. I just want it to be a my personal experience and if you're interested in hearing about it <laughs> like I hope it helps I don't know what I don't know what who it's gonna help but I kind of just needed to get it off my chest that I don't like stents I prefer to have a nephrostomy but it's something that I have to do and it a stent is a means to protect and save your kidney and so of course you're gonna do it um but if you have any questions please leave them down below I love talking to you guys, so um, yeah, ask away, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Really, really long video, I need to hurry up. They put the stent, they put a stent in me, in my left, um, like, tube, I don't know what it's called, urethra or something. Ureta, something like that. Um, yeah, because the stone's so big, they couldn't actually remove it yet. I've got it in now, and I didn't, I don't know if you know, I don't know if I told you last time, but I'm absolutely terrible with stents i cannot like i have some kind of reaction with them and i cannot like walk with them properly i come out of hospital in 10 times more pain than i went in there with and i'm still in 10 times more pain than i went in there with so it's, it's really like rubbish basically because you know i've come out in more pain than i went in there with but the main thing is my kidneys are right for now